Well, you missed the beginning. <laughs> so I may as well unclog your drain. Well, good, Mr. Furley, because the new tenants will appreciate that. I'm sure they will. Huh? That's right, Mr. Furley. You are finally going to get rid of us. We're going to move. Move? Yeah. Terry found a wonderful house overlooking the ocean. It's too good a deal to pass up. Move? You're not upset, are you? <laughs> no. Me? You kidding? <laughs> Tenants come, tenants go. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> Besides, with you gone, I won't be up here all the time fixing things. I have a lot more free time to myself. Everything. 
thing. <laughs> Me too. What a guy. And what a great sense of humor. Yeah. Every time he sees me, he starts laughing. <laughs> you know what? Sure. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what you were just saying? What was that? Well, I don't know. I wasn't listening. <laughs> You know the difference between Jack and everybody else I know? What? He likes me. You're a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and the other two, uh, ja uh, t uh, Tanit and Jerry. <laughs> Jerry? Hmm. Wonderful girls. The best? Cream of the crop. Salt of the earth. Fruit of the loom! <laughs> I'm losing them. I'm losing the only friends I ever had. <laughs> you got me? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there, there, Ralphie. There, there. Easy, big fella. I'm sorry, Larry. I'm not behaving very manly. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> oh, Larry, if I could be strong like you. Larry? Larry? <laughs> I can't help it. I've lost the only friend I ever had. How can they do this to us? I don't know. <laughs> We gotta teach them a lesson. Right. What are we gonna do? Three simple words. Burn their house? <laughs> no. Divide and conquer. Chop them up into little pieces? <laughs> no. But when we get through with them, They'll wish they never left this place. Right? <laughs> right! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You're going to put too much stuff in that box. Janet, who's no. doing this packing, me or you? Um, just trying to help. You want to help? Tear off a strip of that tape. Okay, but you got too much stuff in that box, Janet, Jack. Just I'm telling tear you. Some tape. That's enough. Rules of packing. Do not overpack. Janet, you know how many times I have moved in my life? I, know, but I am a mover, okay? <laughs> <laughs>
It'll be pitch black. Yeah. What the heck? She can take a judo class. <laughs> judo class? Wait a minute, Larry, hang on a second. What? Well, she's only doing it to make you happy. Wait a minute, Larry. Forget it. I'm not even supposed to mention it. Don't ask me any more questions. If it concerns Janet and me, I have a right to know. Okay. Fact is, Janet doesn't want to move at all. What? She's only doing it so you can get your gourmet kitchen. Why didn't she say something to me about this? Does a friend tell a friend when she's making a sacrifice? So, Jack, I'll have to take the number six bus to the number 23 and then change at Piedmont. And, oh, it'll take him hours. Mr. Furley, that can't be right. What, look at this. The 91 goes straight through. Give me that. <laughs> oh, what's the difference? You just get me so frazzled when I think of you, well, of Jack moving just because of you. What? Jack moving because of me? Yeah, the only reason he's doing this is so you can have your backyard. Well, Mr. Furley, wait a minute. If Jack didn't want to move, he would have said something to me. He didn't want you to know. What do I do? Look, what can I say to her? All right, look, you just say, Janet, I'll do whatever it takes to make you happy. Thanks, pal. Oh, Mr. Furley. Oh, Jack, um, I want to ask you something. Janet, I just want you to know that I will do whatever it takes to make you happy. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God, Mr. Furley, you were right. Gee, thanks for telling me. Somebody had to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mission accomplished. Great. Where's Jack? In the bedroom. Two down, one to go. You first. Excuse me, Terry, I have to tell you something. What? You're not telling her anything. <laughs> but if Jack and Janet wanted her to know, they'd tell her themselves. Tell me what? That Jack and Janet don't want to move. <laughs> what? I thought you weren't going to say anything. It slipped out. I'm sorry. <laughs> you two are not making any sense. Well, they're only doing it because of you. I don't uh, understand. No, no, look, look, look. Their whole life is here, but they know how much this house means to you. And they don't want to lose you. Oh, I feel terrible. You should. <laughs> Ralphie? It's working. Yes. But we got to keep them apart so they don't compare notes, right? Right. Right. So the minute we get them down to your place, keep them occupied, and then you give your phony speech about violating the lease. Yeah, I'll have them eating out of the palm of my hand. <laughs> oh, Jack, I think you're wonderful. Oh. Hey, I'm not wonderful. Janet's the one who's wonderful. Oh, oh <laughs> I love you guys. And we love, love you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys. I think we should have a talk. Oh, no, you, you shouldn't. What? What? Uh, it's party time. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm throwing a big bon voyage party downstairs for you. <laughs> We're going to have fun. Gee. Mr. Troy, I'm not really in the mood. Yeah, you know, me neither. I have to go to work. Hey, hey, come Troy, on, you I... guys. You can't let him down like that. Man's gone to a lot of trouble, a lot of expense for you. Well, <laughs> I suppose I if guess. you... All right, yeah. settle this party time. Yeah. Let's go, we're out of here. Okay, I'm come on, kids. Come yeah. there. I'll be right there. I just got to call the hospital. Tell them I'm going to be late. Wilshire Memorial Emergency. Oh, hi, Terry. Hi, Marge. I'm going to be a little bit late. Is that okay? Don't worry about a thing, Terry. I'll cover for you. Thanks. You are a doll. All righty. Bye-bye. Have you seen Terry? I just spoke to her. She's going to be a little late. Well, I'm afraid I have some bad news for her. She can't stay in my Laguna house. I'm not going to Europe after all. Oh, what a shame. Uh, do you want me to get her for you? Uh, yes, please, and uh, give her that message. Coward. <laughs> no, there's just the, the thing that was interesting. 
All right, everybody, more champagne. Oh, thank you, Mr. Furley. Thanks, R.F. Okay. Great. <laughs> you sure are throwing some party, Mr. Furley. Well, why not? After all, I may never see you again. Oh, Mr. Burley. How am I doing? They're almost ready for the kill. Um, you guys, I think we better talk about the house. Oh, um, I've been thinking. What's so important about a backyard? Listen, Janet, I, I know you didn't want me to find this out, but I gotta tell you. What? It, it, all it, time for the speech. Uh, quiet, everybody! Uh, Mr. Furley would like to say a few words straight from his heart. <laughs> say it just the way I wrote it. <laughs> Terry, Jack, the party's over. <laughs> yes, it was a wonderful party every day with three wonderful friends who warmed the cockles of my heart. <laughs> but now you're leaving, and I'll be left with nothing but cold cockles. <laughs> but don't, don't worry about breaking your lease an illegal act. Why can't go on with this? <laughs> Janet, Jack, Terry, I feel like I'm losing part of my family. I don't know what I'll do without you. I better get that. I think of all the times you've made me smile, and now I know I'll never smile again. Oh, hello. <laughs> Mr. Furley, this is Sheila Ashton. Uh, Terry told me about the apartment, and I am interested. <laughs> so am I. Uh, Mr. Furley. I think that's our phone. I'm going to go get it. I'll be right back. Uh, can I offer you a little of the old bubbly? Mr. Furley, your speech. Oh, yes. I am the landlord of this building. I'll be at your service. Not to her, to them. Oh, oh, would you excuse me a second, Sheila? Uh, Janet? Jack, you know I've always been your friend. So, if you want to go, go. <laughs> Wait a second, he's hysterical. He doesn't even know what he's saying. Well, you just saw him just a second ago. I mean, the man was so brokenhearted, he couldn't even continue. He's lost his will to live. Well, just look at him. <coughs> and look how bravely he's hiding it. So, my friends... I implore you, for his sake, stay. We're not moving! I must be magic. <laughs> yeah? Dr. Benson's not going to Europe. That's a real... Uh -huh. Focus on success. Hello, I'm Michael Buchanan, along with Marion Ward. Today's success story is about Gracie Lopez here in San Antonio. Working nights and weekends didn't leave time to do much else. I needed a good job and better hours. Gracie called Dickinson Business School. She qualified for tuition assistance, got the training she needed, and has started her career in business. Let Dickinson focus on your success. Call 732-3000. That's 732-3000. In some parts of the country, when you play a game, you might win. But chances are, you won't. That's not how we do things in Texas. Because Pepsi, today's Texas taste, presents the Texas twist-off. When you play, the odds are an incredible one in three you're going to win. Odds are you'll win twice with a six-pack. With a case of Pepsi, you could win eight times. And in the whole state of Texas, well, you should get the idea. Play the Texas twist-off. The odds-on favorite. From Pepsi, today's Texas taste. The people in happy Texas are unhappy because they can't get Bluebell ice cream snacks. If we could, happy would be paradise, right? <laughs> Some residents in Needmore, Texas claim... We named our town Needmore because we need more Bluebell snacks. No, we didn't, Daddy. Yes, we did. Folks here never need more Bluebell snacks because they get all they can eat. That's why we're happy in paradise. Bluebell, the best tasting ice cream in the country. For every little fanny, every tush, every behind, backside, and bottom in America, Toys R Us has the biggest selection of pampers and loves you'll find anywhere, in every size, in every style, and at a great everyday low price that's hard to beat, like loves boy or girl diapers, 44 count for just $8.49. Toys R Us, your diaper store. Wait a minute, wait a minute! Did you, did you, did you, did you
you say you're not moving? That's right, Mr. Furley, we're not. Well, you, you know, you convinced us we, uh, we didn't want to break up our family. Pop. <laughs> up next month. <laughs> now stay tuned for Webster, coming up next here on Case at 12. Today on News 4 at 5, Dr. Red Duke examines the electrical system that charges your heart. Whether you spend your time swimming or resting, the system keeps your blood flowing. Dr. Duke will show you at 5 o'clock. I'm Art Brascone. Also, continuous beautiful weather ahead of us. John Willen will give you his forecast at 5 o'clock. Join us. The verdict is in. Weekdays at 4.30, S.A. has their eye on Night Court. Damn well put. Night Court, weekdays at 4.30. New crud status, mighty mesquite. Well, that crunch explodes, knock me off my feet. That barbecue, I'm telling you, got a thunderous crunch, so tell the bunch. There's a real taste explosion between the flavor and the crunch. Lay's crunch taters, extra crunchy potato chips. There's a barbecue taste explosion between the flavor and the crunch. Women are getting tough. Reaching for the lime away. Attacking tough hard water stains more often. Because they know hard water stains aren't so hard. When you tackle them more often with lime away. So get tough with lime away. It even takes the hard out of hard water stains. We both came shopping today to buy canvas shoes. I went to the Payless sale. I went to this other shoe store. I picked this white canvas shoe. I picked the same shoe. I spent the same amount of money at Payless that I spent at the other shoe store. And I got this little navy one and these little red ones, too. And she got my other white shoe. Uh -huh. Double up and save on women's canvas shoes. Just $5.99 a pair or two for $10. Lots of styles and colors at Payless Shoe Source. You could pay more, but why? Tendrá el super rayador. Olvídese del viejo raya nudillos de la abuelita. El super rayador raya quesos fácil y rápidamente. Calabacitas por pan de calabaza y papas para esas tortitas de papa tan deliciosas. ¿Quiere más? Pues también le regalaremos el cortador cruzado que le permitirá preparar platillos elegantes que asombrarán a sus invitados. Creerán que usted es un profesional. Pero eso no es todo. También le regalaremos el decorador de alimentos que puede utilizar para hacer jitomates especiales y hermosos platillos para fiestas. Use el otro extremo para pelar naranjas, tronjas y limones. También le daremos el increíble cortador en espiral. Gírelo una y otra vez para crear decoraciones asombrosas. Además, obtendrá el exprimidor de jugos más pequeño del mundo que extrae hasta la última gota de una naranja, toronja, lima o limón y le quita el centro a las manzanas fácil y rápidamente. Vea todo lo que obtiene al pedir hoy mismo el Super Slicer. Todo esto tiene un costo de 279 nuevos pesos. Pero llame ahora y pídalo por solo. Solo 249 nuevos pesos. Además le enviaremos absolutamente gratis los famosos cuchillos Mitsu que usted ya conoce. El cuchillo de cocina y los seis cuchillos de mesa. Todos con la calidad Mitsu. Todos con la navaja ultra filosa. Todos garantizados de por vida. Solos tienen un valor de 180 nuevos pesos. Pero si llama ahora se los incluiremos gratis con el Super Slicer. Llame ahora al 91 112 323 83 y ordene el Super Slicer por tan solo 249 nuevos pesos más gastos de envío. Recuerde, 91 112 323 83. No se quede sin aprovechar esta fabulosa oferta. Nuestras operadoras esperan su llamada. Enviamos a cualquier parte de la República. Aceptamos todas las tarjetas de crédito. Vean estas decoraciones. Se ven tan profesionales. Es hermoso. Vean esto. Mike, cuando era joven fui a la escuela culinaria. Y lo primero que me enseñaron fue que lo más importante es la presentación. <risa>